The snake said SCP is dead. Do you want to try reading it? Alright. Like, you don't have to. I just have to ask you it. Oh, I'd love to read it. Alright. The next SCP is known as Granny Rat Tail, a neutralized SCP, but they called it in their video the Mother of Vermin. What? Granny Rat Tail sounds a lot better. Sounds yeah. like one of those old mythological figures you'd read in folklore. Yeah, hold on, Jerry. Let me get it free so you don't have to watch my stream in order to do it. Yeah, there oh, you go. Oh, no, no. I already have it. Oh, you do? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ignore my DM. Love the art that comes with it. Whoever did that did a good job. Hold on. Um. I like the eyeball in the at the bottom of her rat tail. Oh, there's even more art at the bottom. Huh? There's more art at the bottom. Very nice. I'll get to it after uh, after I scroll down more. Until then. Right. Uh, I was ready for the rat granny, everyone. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Item SCP-6097. Object class neutralized. I'm kind of sad about that. Special containment procedure. SCP-6097 remains are presently preserved on Site-44 Biological Anomalies Unit for further study while SCP-6097-1 is kept in standard item storage in a site in, in the standard item storage locker. Sorry. All literary documents containing information on SCP-6097 and the Brownsboro incident has been confiscated by the American Secure Containment Initiative. Oh fuck you! I'd like to read about the rat granny. Sorry, and have been <laughs> and have since been archived to the wider foundation database. Description, SCP-6097 was an anomalous humanoid active in North America during the early 18th century. While 6097 predates establishment of modern foundation, its existence is known through the biological and artifactual remains since taken into custody. However, all information regarding 6097's appearance, behavior, and circumstance of its death is derived entirely from surviving historical documentation. Okay, they did not kill the granny. That's nice to know, at least. But it's also sad. 6097 was described by witnesses as physically reminiscent of an elderly human female, dressed in tattered clothing with fine silver hair covering much of the face and torso. Its most distinctive feature was that of a long prehensile tail attached to the base of the spine, usually likened to that of a common rat with a large lidless eyeball protruding from the tip. Very awesome. 6097 possessed a large spoon Designated as 6097-1, probably the one she's writing the picture of, that's cool. Comprised of an unknown metal alloy, served as its primary means of transportation. Reputedly, whilst 6097 was sat atop the item's handle, dash one became airborne and capable of maneuvered flight at a significant at, at significant speed. To be fair, back significant speed back then is different from modern significant speed, so that could mean a lot of numbers. Periodically, yeah. during the early hours of the morning, 6097 descended upon the various settlements throughout New England, the New England region. Geographical territory, which is a geographical territory, compro... Ah, comp Encompassing what is now known, I mean, sorry, which is the geological territory encompassing what are now the U.S. states of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. 
Sorry, sometimes my words eat themselves. On arrival, <coughs> maybe I should take a cough drop. Yeah. Also, I you're not the first person I've heard uh, mispronounce Massachusetts. <laughs> That's not comforting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Plus, I've heard someone call New Hampshire New Hampshire before. Not comforting. <laughs> I'm sorry. On arrival, 609 Pippin consistently made landing on the on the rooftops of small civilian homes before extending its tail down the opening of the nearest chimney. Should it and how do I pronounce that? Ancillary? Ancillary or something like that? I'm looking up pronounce that. I'm Ancillary? Ancillary. Ancillary. Should it's ancillary I cite should cite um wait wait. Should its ancillary eyesight, an unintended child below the age of 12 months? I feel like that that line accidentally makes no sense. Oh, should its ancillary eyesight, an unintended child? Okay, so if it if the tail eye spots a child below the age of 12 months. SCP-6097 would proceed to wrap its tail firmly around the infant's face, causing death by suffocation. The remains were then carried back to up the chimney flue and deposited on the dish of SCP-97-1 prior to departure. I'm not really surprised with all the mythological figures or folklore, yeah. fi folklore, fig fo folklore fi figures that used to eat children. So this thing likes infanticide. Yeah. You know what? It's not human. <laughs> we probably have eaten their children. They, the, I guess they, they eat our children. Or did. She's dead. <laughs> yeah. Forensic evidence suggests that between appearances, SCP-6097 resided in a small wooden cottage located near the Blind Forest in Maryland, where the charred and partially consumed remains of over a dozen newborns were excavated, all dating between 1729 and 1734. She didn't eat children for very long, did she? No. Capture. The spate of child abductions throughout the period provoked widespread panic across New England, the New England region. All sightings of a creature matching 6097's description further fell rumors of supernatural activity. In the town of Brownsboro, a former settlement in Blair County, Massachusetts, local carpenter James T. Walker and his wife Abigail devised a plan to entrap SCP-6097. Mrs. Walker, then on in her second trimester of pregnancy, constructed a makeshift doll from cloth and a straw. This figure was adorned with a small silver bell before being left in a cradle next to the fireplace. Several weeks later, shortly after 300 hour, 0, 300 hours, Miss Walker to the bell's chime being sounded by SCP. 6097's distended tail, which was flying slowly enveloping the decoy's head. Following a brief struggle, Walker seized the entity's tail, which he successfully nailed to his home's wooden floorboards, 
thereby preventing its escape. Shortly afterward, two members of law enforcement retrieved 6097 from Walker's room, where the base of its tail was now noted to display prominent tooth marks, probably trying to bite off the tail to get away, which valid. 6097-1 was confiscated with its dish found to contain the corpse of an unidentified newborn along with traces of quantities of sand. The purpose of, of this remain unknown. It is speculated that SCP-6097 may have utilized dry sand as a means of extinguishing lit fireplaces prior, prior to entry. That would actually make sense. That's smart. 6097 itself was transported to a holding cell where it remained for four to six hours before being sentenced and ex executed for witchcraft and infanticide. There are people who still eat rats, so once again, I'm not upset over a rat woman eating babies. <laughs> Humans eat rats. I'm, I'm not sure why they'd be surprised if the rats eat back. Neutralization. Multiple attempts were made to terminate 6097. The entity first bound with rope before being thrown into a small lake situated outside the courtyard. Really hard to drown rats. This resulted in the temperature of the water there in rising drastically, eventually reaching boiling point. Despite being submerged for no less than 15 minutes, 6097 displayed only minor scalding and was otherwise un- Okay. For a second attempt, 6097 was tied to a wooden stake, which was then set alight. The resulting flame was described as glowing brilliantly with an unrecognized color, inducing nausea and severe migraines on onlookers. While 6097 emitted series of, a series of high-pitched squeals indicating severe distress, now exhibited third-degree burns across much of its body, it nonetheless survived at this attempt. She's a very hard woman to kill. With the Brownsboro populace growing increasingly frantic, 6097 was ultimately beheaded using a certain axe, whereupon its body began to degrade in an anomalously rapid rate. Whether or not 6097 survived this attempt remains unclear, with multiple witnesses attesting that the subject's eyes continued to blink and wander long after decapitation. The result was nonetheless considered satisfactory, and 6097 remains were disposed of separately. The subject's bones were sealed in the bottom of a disused well, while Dash 1 was thrown in the edge of a nearby Blair's Gorge. As there was no known means of destroying SCP-6097's head, it was instead locked in a wooden crate and buried in an indisclosed location outside the town border. Uh, sorry. All right. Aftermath. Between 1736 and 1737, an abnormality and an, an, an abnormally high number of carriages and stillbirths occurred in Brownsboro with over 50 residents dying during childbirth. In a small number of cases, these assessed one or more, or more anomalous birth defects, along the most common being a lack of cranium and possession of a thin rodent-like tail. Throughout the period, the brown rat population of Blair County increased significantly with existing pairs found to produce litters up to 30 offspring. New, new specimens were observed to grow up to three times their usual size and behave in an unusually aggressive manner towards humans, leading to the spread of virulent, virulent diseases in surrounding communities. As a result of these conditions, the town was abandoned in 1738. Fair enough. Over the ensuing decades, foundation precursor groups, precursor 
Foundation precursor groups such as the American Care Containment Initiative work to suppress knowledge of the Brown Row incident, confiscating all relevant journal, newspaper, and court records. Both 6097 Bone and Dash One were retrieved and transported to Fort Newton to the Fort Newton Containment Facility since redesignated Site 44. Despite these efforts, the Foundation Department of Mythology and Folklorists report that legends and the archetypal accounts of 6097, known ver variously as Bay Devil, Beast of Brownsboro, and Granny Rattail, have persisted to the present day. This is not considered to be a threat to normalcy, the incident having been dismissed by the mainstream scientific community community as a case of mass hysteria. Efforts to recover the chest containing 6097 severed head remains ongoing. Damn. That, that's a tough rat. Thumbnail time. Oh no. Oh yay, it's Jerry's favorite thumbnail. They use the same woman again. Did they make an old woman look sexy? Pit cell. What do you think about the horny thumbnail? I think it's a four for clickbait and a four for sexy. Because let's be honest, they turned an old woman into a sexy lady. Yeah. All right. It's oh shit! Down the chimney. No, no, fuck off! You need to check to see if it. Oh right, it doesn't have it. Uh, that's fine. A license, so. Hopefully that's correct. Everyone ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's watch them sexualize an old woman that eats babies. Ugh. It slithered down the chimney. The bulbous eye on the tip, looking around the room. Halloween was fast approaching, and the macabre Wait, decorations what? had already Wait. gone up. The eye descended further into the room, oh, searching for something. It stopped and stared for well, a now it does. The prey it sought was this in the corner, sleeping soundly in a bassinet. Down and down, the tail the came through the chimney, making its way <laughs> to the sleeping baby. It curled around the baby's mouth and nose, silently suffocating it. The tail picked up the baby and started to bring it back towards the mouth of the chimney. It stopped and turned its gaze to where the sound had come from. A woman stood in the doorway, a look of pure terror upon her face. The tail quickly whipped back up the chimney from where it had come. She rushed forwards to the fireplace, looking up the flue, but could see nothing. Her husband came running into the room. Where to go? She gestured towards the chimney as the man ran outside Did the house. The silhouettes upon the roof sent a cold person? shiver down yes. his spine. It was a sight he would never forget. It peered back down at him before flying off into the moonlight. They changed the food into the room! <laughs> Hello? Dr. Klaus. Yes, who is this? It's still there, waiting, never sleeping. Who is this? What are you talking about? Come back to Burkittsville. The children call out. The witch hearkens. Disappearances dating back to the 1700s. Strange sightings deep in the forest. Sorry, Ever wanted to solve a mystery? Find eh. a murderer. Delve deep into the mysteries of the occult, or the mind of a murderer. 
More than a murder mystery, Hunt a Killer puts you into the crime scene with original stories, authentic key items, and puzzles to solve. During the Halloween promotion, get huge discounts on some of the best Hunt a Killer games. It is the season of witches. <laughs> Quite some. Wouldn't it be Maybe great if in Salem, Massachusetts? Like that happening right after infant infanticide is very uh, poor taste. And like you disagree. I mean, I was yeah. better if you disagreed, but I... yeah. Also, I love how it says warning area under observation for like SCP stuff. One of the object classes that you can click off of is neutralized. <laughs> uh. Witches, it's almost Halloween. Wouldn't it be great if it were witches? <laughs> Quite some imagination you have there, Chen. No, not Salem, and no on the witch thing too, though there are certainly some unmistakable similarities. So, what is it then? Well, the oh my God. reported a long rat-like tail with an eyeball on it, coming down their chimney and stealing their kid. A rat tail with an eyeball. Yep. I don't like rats. I never said it was a rat. They caught sight of it as it made off on, get this, a flying spoon. A rat on a flying spoon? Wait, wait, Funny but it dog. looked like Almost a broom in the video clip. Yeah. Now they're taking... Yep. Don't you know they have to be inconsistent? Uh, At me. It wasn't like, the rats, but what appeared to be. Should we mark them as being accurate or inaccurate when it comes to the spoon? Because they definitely made it in a into a broom at the beginning. We both saw that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so do we mark them as huh? accurate or inaccurate? That's any accurate? Okay. Old lady. Grandma Rat Spoon. That's it. I'm done with you. Chen! Chen! Grandma Rat Spoon. <laughs> kind of catchy. He turned back to his computer and continued his search. What Chen had said stuck with him as he typed in the search phrase Grandma Rat Tail Spoon. <laughs> uh, well done, Chen. Well done. This better not be about your granny rat spoon again. Grandma rat spoon, and yes, it is. Okay, I'm out of here. Look at this, will ya? Kloss pointed down at the huge silver spoon on the floor. Is that a rat spoon? <laughs> yep. This skip was captured a few centuries ago and decapitated. We've had the spoon and the remains of her body in storage since the 1700s. If that's the case, how is she flying around still? A copycat? Rat surrection? You see what I did there? Amazing. Your humor never ceases to amaze me. And me. Jesus would be rolling in his grave. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? What's in the box? Bodily remains. Uh, not much, but some dust and bones at this point. So, what's the point of talking to Her Majesty then? Glad to see you're finally giving me the respect I deserve. I'd like to get a first-hand experience of what this grandma was about, hence the spoon and Pythia. Fantastic. Let's get this over with. They were in an old-fashioned farmhouse. It appeared to be late at night. The fireplace had a few smoldering logs left in it. A man sat at the table, head down, passed out drunk. Nearby the fireplace sat a cradle with a baby asleep. A long, rat tail slipped down the fireplace, its huge eye searching the room. It saw the man, deep asleep, and slowly creep towards him. Once it was certain he was asleep, it turned its attention to the baby. It would make a fine meal indeed. The eyeball suddenly winced and looked back in pain. The man wasn't asleep at all. It tried to escape back up the chimney but found it couldn't. He looked at the eyeball and yelled out, 
Not again, you foul creature! As he hammered another nail into the tail. She pulled and pulled, but it was no use. The bite might... She doesn't look that old. No, she doesn't. Also, Smash. She looks like a rat woman, not a rat granny. I'm glad you talked over what I said. Wait, what'd you say? I said also Smash. Right! <laughs> Don't say Smash to the weird porn version of Rat Granny. Well, she looks cute, okay? I, I can fix her. <laughs> I can fix him the It's fantasized woman. <laughs> well, if you were really going to woo the SCP, she wouldn't look like that. She'd look a lot older. <laughs> Are you into older women, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, then in that case, sure. Smash the, the child eater. Just no, she has a lot of rat children. <laughs> I can fix her. <laughs> well, I, I could believe you getting her to stop eating babies, but she would still have all those rat children. Marks at the base of the tail, evidence she had tried to bite her own tail off. In the bowl of her spoon laid another baby. It was too late now. They had her. The man approached and threw the heavy sack over her head. They tried different ways to rid themselves of her, but so far, nothing had worked. They bound her and threw her into the river, but instead of drowning, the water boiled, and despite no air, she continued to live. Next, they attempted to burn her at the stake. The flames grew and flickered in varied colors. But the only result yeah. was that of nausea and migraines for the people standing near. When they took her from the stake, her body was severely burnt, but yet she lived on. The final attempt, however, had seemed to work. The executioner brought the heavy iron axe down upon her neck, severing her head. The body quickly decomposed into bones and dust, but yet the head lived on. It was then that they decided to seal the head in a chest and hide it when no one would come upon it ever again. Isn't this a little like finding a needle in a haystack? A little, but we know from the records where these events were happening. That's a start. Now all we need is the Pied Piper to track down that head. Well, we're gonna have to be the rat catchers this time around. The helicopter set down nearby the old farmhouse. It appeared little had changed in the few hundred years that had passed. We need a baby to this catch is a the baby same either. house. Let's yeah. look around and see if anything comes up. I've got a better idea, Doc. And what might that? Well, but you instead don't of being the Pied Piper, yeah. let's let them be the Pied Pipers. What in the world are you talking about? Take a look. Chen pointed to the ground in the distance. A few rats were scurrying off into the forest. Let the rats lead the humans. Good idea. They followed the rats into the forest. About half a kilometer in, they came upon a dead, gnarled tree. Mm -hmm. How's that for a stereotype? Bet you fifty dollars we'll find the head at the base of the tree. This is Blair Witch. I recognize that tree from the game. This is the Blair Witch tree. <sighs> Let's keep going. Tree. Though I'm tempted to let you do that and make 50 bucks, it's not buried. How do you know? Look up a little higher. In the middle of the tree, blended into its trunk, was a chest. You ready for this? Go for it. Man, I hate rats. Not that fond of grannies either, actually. Would you just open it already? Empty. There was nothing inside but a slip of paper. Open it. Pass me the coffee. What makes you so again, sure? Grandma with Rats fucking Cyrus. Again. It's oh. about as good a spot as any. Anyway, we have agents all over the area, and we're monitoring the police frequencies. If she shows up, we'll get her. On it. We'll get the chopper. Reported sighting 15 kilometers from here, heading northbound at speed. Let's get on it. 
They circled the reported sighting area, but nothing was apparent yet. You sure this is the area? We've moved a little further in the direction she was heading, but yeah, this should be it. All right, let's keep searching for another 20 minutes, then call it off. Roger. Wait, what's that? Chen looked through the sniper rifle's sights. There, on that rooftop, drop down. As they descended, she suddenly flew up and into the skies. Get on her! Don't let her get away! The helicopter increased speed and closed in on her. Bring me alongside, Chen took aim. Yuck, that is one nasty rat. He fired the rifle. She fell from the spoon and went crashing down into the trees. Direct hit. Circle back and find a nearby place to land. He rushed through the trees, heading to where she had crashed into the ground. Chen stopped above the body, looking down. What is it? Did you get her? See for yourself. Explain this to me. You shot her down, but the body and spoon were all you found? Well, uh, just the spoon now. The body decayed into dust and bones before we could even get it back to the Foundation. Is it possible that our sharpshooter here blew her head right off? I know that's supposed to be an insult, but I take it as a compliment. The neck wound doesn't appear that way. It looks severed, cleanly. But that's why we need you to clarify. All right, let's take another look. They were in the forest. The rat woman laid on the floor. She appeared alive, but hurt. A figure stood above her. Best we keep you for another day, lest our friends from the Foundation get a hold of you. He bent down, a sharp knife in his hand. That's that, then, he said as he stood up, the head in his hand. And to you, Kloss, watch your step. Cyrus knows of your oracle, and a great deal more. We'll be seeing you soon. SCP-6097, object class, neutralized. 6097 was an anomalous humanoid entity, active in North America for a brief period during the early 18th century. 6097 was described as physically resembling an elderly human female, dressed in tattered clothing, oh, with fine elderly. silver hair covering much of her face <laughs> and torso. Its most distinctive feature was that of a long tail attached at the base of the spine, Honestly, likened by witnesses to that of a common rat, the with a single, swollen eyeball protruding from the tip. Amazing. 6097 yeah. formerly possessed a large spoon, designated 6097-1, made from an indeterminate metal alloy, which it is believed to have used as a means of transportation. Reputedly, while 6097 was sat atop the item's handle, Don't worry about it. 6097-1 became maneuverable and capable of flight at speeds of no less than 50 kilometers per hour. Periodically, during the early hours of the morning, 6097 descended upon various North American settlements throughout the New England region. Upon arrival, 6097 would consistently land on the rooftops of civilian homes and poorhouses before extending its tail down the structure's chimney. Should it sight a child below the age of 18 months, it would proceed to wrap its wait, tail around wait, the Wait, wait, hold on. Mouth. No, 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 no. It said 12, right? Yes, 12. Why are you expecting yeah. them to be accurate? This is the first time during the time where they were supposed to read the article that they get things wrong. No, but no, it wasn't. Remember the last one when they were reading it after? They also didn't got it inaccurate because despite reading it normal, they still showed them as furries. I oh, yeah. Of the nose, suffocating it before placing the victim's remains in the bowl of 6097-1. Forensic evidence suggests the, uh, that between appearances, 6097 resided in a small wooden cottage located in a forest in Maryland, yeah. where the charred and partially consumed remains of multiple infants were excavated, all dating from between 1724 and 1729. Its remains are presently preserved at Site 44's Biological Anomalies <laughs> Unit for further study. While Dash One is kept in a standard oh my God. storage locker, fairy tales and folklore give us insights into our collective past, not to be taken. Can I say four? All right. 
Uh, added gore or violence? Zero? Unless you think they added it, you can add a number of people. No, not really. Okay. Deviation from the plot of the article. Four. A uh, minute, only minute in the video such offensiveness. Honestly, four. Right. Yeah. Because the main character that they kept calling the old woman into a sexy young woman. Still smash. Uh, 